in this section, we're going to talk about another test um, to determine whether a critical point is a local maximum or a local minimum. And um, this test uses the second derivative. It's called the second derivative test. And remember that the second derivative tells you about the concavity of the function, right? If, it's, if the second derivative is positive, the function is concave up at that point. And if the second derivative is negative at a point, then the function is concave down at that point. So um, the way that we use this, this, um, this test is we still find the critical points in the normal way, right? We just set the derivative equal to zero, find the critical points, all right? So uh, once you have the critical points, the second derivative allows us to just test those critical points, right? We can just test the critical point using the second derivative. So if the critical point, if, um, if we test the critical point and it's concave up at that critical point, that tells us that we have a local minimum, right? So we test the second derivative. If it's positive, the function is concave up and we have a local minimum, all right? Um, if we test the critical point and uh, at the second derivative, right, we plug it into the second derivative and we find that the second derivative is negative. That means that the function is concave down at the critical point, which means we have a local maximum, okay? So now we're just gonna use the second derivative and look at the concavity at the critical point. All right, so um, let's take a look at this first example and see how it works. Now, I think this is the same function that we had in the last section. We're just going to use the, the uh, second derivative test instead of the first derivative test. But regardless of what test we use, the first thing to do is to find the critical points. So I'm going to find f prime of x, right? And so let's see, we get 3x squared plus 6x minus 24. And um, now I can factor out the 3. I get um, x squared plus 2x um, minus 8. Okay. And then I can factor that and I get 3 times um, x plus 4 and uh, x minus 2, right? So if I set that equal to zero, the critical points are at, let's see, I'll write it down, I'll write it here. So critical points at x equals negative four and x equals two, right? So now we've found the critical points, all right? So now instead of using the first derivative test, we're gonna use the second derivative test, which means that we need the second derivative, all right? So, um, I'm going to find the second derivative and um, just take the derivative of the derivative. We get 6x plus 6. And um, so I could actually write that as 6 times x plus 1 maybe. It doesn't really matter though because um, we're just going to evaluate the critical points at um, or we're going to evaluate the second derivative at the critical points, okay? So we're just going to determine the concavity at the critical points. So it's not points on either side. We are actually going to put in the values of the critical points. So let's look at f, the second derivative at negative 4, right? So we're going to get 6 times negative 4 plus 1, which gives us, it looks like, a negative 18. Negative 18, and either way, it's it's negative, right? So it's it's negative, so less than zero, which tells us that it's concave down at that critical point, right? Now, sometimes I like to draw a little picture. Concave down looks like that, because that helps remind me that, okay, if it's concave down at the critical point where the, derivative, the first derivative is zero, then that's telling me that I have a, a local maximum, right? This is telling me I have a, a local maximum at x equals negative 4, right? That's what the second derivative is telling me, all right? Now, let's do the other critical point. We're going to plug in positive 2 now. So you get 6, and then we have um, 2 plus 1, all right? So it doesn't really matter what the value is, but it is positive, right? That's the main thing. It's greater, uh, still, it's, sorry, it's, 
it's greater than zero. It's positive. So what does that tell me? That the function is concave up at that critical point. Concave up looks like this, right? So, okay, that just reminds me that, okay, when that, that point, the critical point where the first derivative is zero has to be a local minimum, okay? So we have a local um, minimum at x equals two, okay? All right, so that's it. That's what it, that's what, um, what the second derivative test has how to apply the second derivative test. We just look at the concavity at the critical point. So, but we find the critical points just like we always do. We just look at the first derivative and set it equal to zero. All right, or look for the, where the function is undefined, right? But um, that's how we apply the second derivative test.